Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Aquarius, for the week of October 9th. I just got the end of the year readings out, so if you haven't seen that one yet, you might want to check it out. And if you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. <laughs> but don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons, Aquarius, if you like this video. Believe in the impossible. I love this, Aquarius. Look at this. Some, someone's dream is about to come true. Love this. That is the blue moon. And we have you're very close to achieving your goal. <laughs> the Gippius moon. <laughs> wow, Aquarius. Love the way this is starting out. Let's see. All right. What kind of animal spirit is walking with Aquarius the week of October 9th? Spirit, tell me about Aquarius and an animal guide. Oh, I saw the earthworm. <laughs> Cosmic egg comes out instead. Kind of the same um, uh, energy here, but also the owl. Look at the wisdom you have gained, Aquarius. Some kind of elevation or rising up. Some kind of rising up for Aquarius. And you have a lot of unrealized potential about to burst wide open here. So you've been holding on to something for quite some time. Maybe you were just gaining the wisdom or you were gaining the momentum on this. But boy, it's sure getting going now. And the crow, you are really sitting on some spiritual information waiting to reveal. Whew, I wonder what this is about. Let's see. All right, Spirit, let's get a tarot for up in the ether for Aquarius. What does Aquarius not see coming? Eight of air, that's the eight of swords. So really walking away here. Look at this. Letting go, Aquarius, really letting go. Oh, I love that. I love that. Don't get too much up in your head, Aquarius, because sometimes the eight of air can mean um, self-sabotage, where you're really up in your head trying to figure this out, trying to make the answer come. And sometimes when we just relax and uh, sit out under the full moon and believe in the impossible, that's when our dreams come true, when we're offering the least resistance for those dreams. So just keep that in mind. Look at this under the bottom of the deck, the chariot comes through to say, Cancer Energy, that you're going to be moving forward. You're going to be moving forward very quickly. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to pull three rows. I'm going to do your head space, your heart space, and the foundation or the reason for the reading. And then we'll pull some clarification cards. But what is Aquarius thinking about? Oh, my God. I'm going to put those back. Six of Swords wants to come out, and that is moving on. Again, once again, moving on, letting go, letting go of the resistance of it all. And there is the Eight of Cups, another sign of walking away. So you have two eights here, and that is telling me that you have this sense of urgency to get away from this. You really are done with this cycle, with this pattern, with this person, with this situation, whatever you are dealing with, you are really ready to walk away <clears throat> and to gain some independence here and some strength and some wisdom. You're ready to just gain the wisdom from it, but leave the, the situation behind. What else? What else is on Aquarius's mind? Letting go. Letting go. Oh, look at this with the soulmate energy coming in. <laughs> Six of Cups and Knight of Cups. You are thinking back. You are being very nostalgic. Really fine-tuning what you want to bring forward here and what you want to let go of. But look at the wisdom you have gained during this last cycle, Aquarius. My God just grown into who you are and standing in your true authentic self here and really, really taking care of yourself. I, I love this. I absolutely love this. Look at what happens as soon as we do that, where our minds start opening up to the possibility of allowing someone else in, of, uh, of opening our hearts back up to love again. So I know we get a little afraid of being hurt. You've got two sixes here and two eights here. So really moving on from any kind of troubled waters. But what I see is this mature relationship coming in, some kind of um, some kind of maturity coming into all of your relationships, not just a romance relationship, but all of your relationships have this kind of maturity built into them now that can really propel forward now, can really move past any kind of angst or any kind of contrast that you were dealing with in this last cycle. So 
oh my God, it's just so beautiful. You are willing to walk away. You're really willing to walk away for your happiness and um, it doesn't look like anything's going to stop you here. I mean, you're just ready. Oh, the Ace of, uh, no, Wands wanted to come up. Ace of Wands, a new beginning, a new inspiration. But we're looking at the heart space for Aquarius. What is Aquarius feeling? There's the Ace of Swords. I almost said that one too. <laughs> So look at this, a new beginning for your heart, a new beginning when you walk away from this fire that you've put a lot of time, effort, energy into. You you really built this fire on all this water and all this sand. You found a means to get this spark going, to get this fire going. But it just wasn't too hard. You didn't have the resources to keep it going. You were getting depleted. You were getting so tired. So you just walked away. You walked away and kept your memories with you, the the information with you, the lesson with you. You walked away with the lesson and now you're just open to receiving Aquarius. This is so beautiful because your heart is just splitting wide open again. It's cracking wide open and allowing the possibility of true connection coming back into your life, true trust, true soulmate energy coming back into your experience here. And it is beautiful. Nine of wands. Look at this ending that you are coming into, but now you've got the boundaries. Now you've got the, uh, protection. You've got spirits armor now for, uh, any kind of deems or, or heartbreak that you've experienced in the past. You're ready. You are ready. You, you're not going to have those situations pop up on you or come up and grab you out of the ether just to take you down. It's just not going to happen to you. You've moved on from that lesson here. So you've got an eight and a nine, right? Uh, with each other here. So there's a progression here of moving on, absolutely moving on. There's some kind of real sense here that you have either physically, mentally, spiritually, you have moved on Aquarius and you're looking for love. You're looking for connection and trust and somebody who's just as wise and has gone through some of the same things. You, you don't have time for really these kind of fluffy relationships that don't go very deep. You know, you're just you just don't have time for that. You just, that's not what you want. You want something very, very deep here, a connection you can feel that you're not second guessing here. And that's exactly what you're heading toward is just this beautiful, beautiful um, connections with people around you, people really understanding you and vice versa. Look at this, the King of Pentacles in your heart space. My God, Aquarius, you are solid. You are solid in your relationships that you have still standing here. I mean, my God, people have your back. People support you. People want to see you walk away into this brighter day, into this happier experience. So I just, I love this. And you're sitting so solid too. You're, you're not real stressed about it. That's the thing is you're not just calling it in. You're not just sitting there going, oh my God, I wish I had a friend. I wish I had a soulmate. I wish I had, I wish I had. You are not doing that. You are sitting in some very solid energy thinking, I have everything I need. I have everything I need. And that's the time. Those are the moments when spirit can really swoop in and give you more, <laughs> more spirit is hearing more. I want more of this. <laughs> it's exactly what you're getting. Look at the Empress Taurus energy coming into your heart space here. So Wow, this is such beautiful energy. Something about this full moon coming on the ninth. We've got the full moon in Aries here, Aquarius, and that's going to cleanse you. It's going to cleanse you of any residual doubt, any residual insecurities, any residual memories that broke your heart. Those are all going to be going away uh, come this Sunday night, come this full moon. Sit under it, though. Let the moonlight wash over you and wash these things away. It's time for a new beginning for you, Aquarius. It really is time for you to walk towards your own light here and your own dreams and your own goals and really believing in the impossible here, believing in yourself here and counting on yourself with the King of Pentacles, too. So you're not counting on anyone bringing your happiness. You're just bringing yourself some real joy and happiness here. Look at, there's that cycle ending for you with the world coming out. Aquarius, you're on this card. I don't know which symbol you are here, but you are absolutely on this card along with Leo and Taurus and Scorpio. So how beautiful you are ending that cycle. I knew it with these two eights here. Eight must be a very important number to you, or it will be. You're going to start noticing the eights. And there's that ace of wands that I knew was going to pop out too. So you have two aces in your heart space along with the world the Empress and the King of Pentacles. My God, 
this is beautiful because not only do you get the creation of the thought, the creation, the beginning, the very beginning, um, I wonder if, what if, you get this real strong, clear message of what if I did this? And then the inspired action comes very, very quickly after that. So, oh my God, by the end of the week, you're going to be really moving towards something and you're going to be actively moving towards something. You're not going to be just sitting and daydreaming about it and planning it in your mind. And um, maybe that's where I was seeing, don't get up in your head too much. Don't sabotage this because you've got new beginning after new beginning here. So let yourself be, let yourself enjoy this new beginning, get the momentum going, which it already is in this um, new beginning for you because boy, Aquarius, you're heading towards some really, really beautiful energy, really beautiful. You're coming out of something and you are moving into the light. It's like you're moving out from these troubled waters and you're just going. You're not even looking back. Look at how beautiful this is. Queen of Wands comes into the foundation here. So you grabbing your magic back, you seeing it now, you feeling it now. You're, you're uh, experiencing, experiencing this now. You can feel the vibration of it. You can feel the vibration of this new beginning and it really gives you some excitement and some hope, some hope for a brighter future and not just so depleting and so exhausting at your daily life here. You're really getting a burst of energy coming through here. So, oh my God, I can't wait to see what you do with this energy. You have this sense of urgency. It is there. I can see it with the two eights. <laughs> of course, it's like, I want to go. I want to move. Get out of my way. <laughs> I have people to see, things to do. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. Look at this with the six of wands coming into the foundation. Aquarius, this is fame. This is fortune. This is uh, reciprocity in what you're saying as well. People really responding to you with the Empress coming through in your heart space as well. So people really responding to this new way of yours, this happier, lighter conversations that you're having, this um, I, I feel like I have this. I feel like I have a grip on this. And you're you're just sitting very, very solid. You're um, learning something here. I do. I do see some kind of higher learning here as well. Really studying something to get some kind of pentacles in the future, get some kind of money in the future here. So it's going to pay off. There's some kind of platform waiting for you, some kind of group or or community waiting for you to step up on the stage and say, um, life is good and here is why. And you're just offering these wonderful conversations about how it can be and how, how we need to um, bridge, some kind of bridge here. You're building some kind of bridge between relationships here. And it's just so beautiful. You've got the key to relationships this week. The key to relationships. I love this. Look at this Knight of Wands coming in, Sagittarius energy coming into the foundation here. So again, finding your fire, finding that passion, finding what gives you that spark, what gets you out of bed, what, what is it that you say, I can't wait to get to this. These cards are very fiery. They're filled with fire with all the reds and oranges here. So Aquarius, what is it that you want to do? Because spirit is waiting to hand you every single resource you need to get this done. So Whatever it is, whatever seems impossible to you, whatever seems out of reach to you, or I always wanted to do this. If you have this dream, I, I wanted to do this since I was a child. You get going on that now. Do not let any more time pass. This is your time, Aquarius, to really, really get going. Look at the two of cups merging up energies. I told you it's all about relationships for you this week and really merging energies and connections and heartwarming conversation and um, offers, offers of love, offers of friendship, offers of bondship, offers of communication and, um, and well-being. There's not this fear around you. There, there's not this doom and gloom around you anymore. There's just well-being. And what do we need to do to get out of that old cycle into this new cycle? And I'm with you. You have a lot of people saying, I'm with you. I have your back. I support you. I love you. You have just so much support here. Family support for sure. Family really rallied around you when some times were tough here. So yeah, they got you through and you're very appreciative of it. You're just sitting in this, this place of grace and appreci pre appreciation. And spirit is just giving you more of that, more of that. They love um, that you're in this space to hold appreciation and grace. And boy, are you one graceful energy here. You, you've gotten through things with such grace that 
Uh, it's leaving your family members for sure in awe of you. They are absolutely amazed of, uh, by you and really proud of you. There's so much pride here. I really feel some pride here of um, what you've gone through. I think this is spirit just saying, Aquarius, we're here. We're wrapping you with our angel wings and we've got you. And you're starting to feel that. You're starting to feel um, invincible again. You're starting to feel... Um, uh, protected again and that's all you needed just to feel safe and protected oh lord this is beautiful absolutely beautiful look at this on the bottom of the deck with the king of swords yeah your sword is down you are meditating you are really pulling your energy inside and starting to believe in magic again with the dragon in the background of the king of swords there you're really starting to believe in magic again and it's all it took it's all it took was this kind of shift for you this kind of uh, oh boy, uh, cycle change too. But more than that, you've matured so much. You've gained so much wisdom with the owl and the cosmic egg up there. I mean, this is big for, for anyone. This is not just big for Aquarius. This is big for anyone this kind of open to receive because the sky's the limit now. Spirit is just going to give and give and give to you because you're so appreciative of it. You're just sitting in this beautiful, beautiful state of appreciation. Look at the offers coming in because of the state of appreciation you are sitting in. It's beautiful with the with the page of pentacles coming in. I love this. Offering you while you're walking away too. As soon as you start giving up on something, that's when the offers start coming into you. So yeah, you do you and you, if you need to walk away from something, go because they'll come chasing after you. They'll come tell you how valuable you are to them. And um, they just didn't see it. They just didn't know how to say it to you. Two of swords are somebody in a crossroads when it comes to you walking away, though. They do not want to see you walk away. They want to, um, they have some message for you, but uh, you're just continuing on. For some reason, you're not looking back. Well, I know why, because it's been so hard, but you're not looking back at that. Two of cups, yeah, they want to offer you this kind of rekindle ship, this kind of reignition of the relationship. They really want you back. They've been at a crossroads. They've been in the dark when it comes to you, and... They're trying to come forward. They're trying to make you offers. Hmm. Let's see. Look at the chariot, though. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that you are even aware that they want you back like this, that they want a reuniting with you. So that's very interesting. You don't seem to care. You're just moving on with uh, uh, the chariot over the Knight of Cups. So yeah, there's those offers coming into you. But I don't know. I have to get some more clarification on this. I, I really feel like you just keep walking. You just keep walking for some reason. Oh, yeah, you are their wish fulfilled. You are their everything. So while you're gaining these new ideas, this new momentum, this new ignition of your passion, that's really what I'm feeling here, this kind of spark inside your soul here that's going to catch on and gain momentum, and that fire is going to be really brewing for you. But you are somebody's wish. They really want you back. They uh, just can't seem to get through their days here. So interesting, very, very interesting. Somebody really thinking about you, really wanting you back. They want the way it used to be, but you are nowhere near how you used to be. So it's very interesting. Two of Wands, look at this. They are planning. They're planning ways to get you back. They're planning um, things they can say, things they can do, offers they can make, gifts they can give you. Um, yeah, isn't that, isn't that interesting, Aquarius? As soon as we just walk away and we let it go and we move on, that's when they come back and they say, here, I want to give you this happy home. I know I didn't before, <laughs> but you're sitting on the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> that, that's very, very interesting. So yeah, somebody really wanting to come in and give you offers of love. You are their wish fulfilled. You are their everything. They've come to some kind of realization. They were at a crossroads about you. They didn't know. And while they were deciding you were moving on, you were moving away and really, really walking away. So they were trying to decide, should I, should I be with Aquarius or should I just let Aquarius go? It doesn't seem like this is going to work. So they were at this crossroads. They have their swords up. So they were very, very guarded. They were not letting you in. But look how beautiful you look walking away. <laughs> yeah, and I just feel like you just keep walking. For some reason, you're not looking back. I don't see any cards of Aquarius looking back at this at this person, even though they're making all these lovely offers here. 
uh, you're, you're not wanting that for some reason because of the cards they're sitting on on top of you. Queen of Pentacles coming into the heart space. Boy, they really see you as somebody who is very solid and making your own money, making your own way, making your own decisions, being very independent. They absolutely cherish that about you, but they forced you into this independence. They forced you into this um, throne of yours where you had to be hard and you had to be um, on your own here. You were forced into this corner here and it was the best thing. Talk about a blessing in disguise. Talk about a blessing in disguise. I know they're really coming around now and they're really seeing you in the light that you wanted them to see you all along, but for some reason they were at some kind of crossroads. Maybe they were just going through some kind of, I don't know, midlife or something, some kind of crisis, but they didn't see you and they, they, they uh, were trying to find their own way, their own happiness. And for some reason, they felt like they were at a crossroads with you. But uh, hmm. no, see, I don't see you taking it. I don't see you taking this offer. I know they want you to, but you looking at the past, you're looking at how hurt you were. You're looking at how it went down, how everything went down. And yeah, I, I just really see them really wanting this to happen. But we'll see. You know, energy shifts all the time very, very quickly. Next week, you may be in a different mindset about this person. Um, but boy, they are really trying to get you back. Look at the offers coming in. Knight of Wands. Inspired actions even. They're, they're just trying anything and everything to have this conversation. Open the door to this happy home, happy happiness that you used to have. At some point, you had this great... Um, communication with this person, this really uh, honest communication, and then they went awry. They went, uh, they went through something. They went through something. I would absolutely have to pull their cards here, but they they went through something, and now they're back. They're back, and they're telling you, "Yeah, but I love you. You broke my heart. I need you." Well, you were saying that long ago. You were saying, uh, "No, no, or I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm." Uh, getting my worthiness back. I'm getting my worthiness. I'm no longer allowing you to dictate my happiness here. So you're not counting on anyone to give you happiness here. And that's why you're sitting in such a state of appreciation. That's why you're just unshakable here, unbreakable here while they're going through uh, a real heartbreak here with the three of swords coming into um, sitting on top of your fire, your passion. As soon as you get it back, they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken because they realize you've moved on. And all they wanted was this happiness, happy merging of energies, this happy home, this this uh, happy outcome here. They thought maybe you were going to, I don't know, kiss and make up or something. <laughs> oh, Lord. They watch you, Aquarius. They have their eye on you. So, yeah, be mindful what you're posting on social media about this happiness of yours. Be very mindful of that because they are peeping in and... I don't see any, any bad intent here that they want to um, sabotage your life in any way, but they just want you back and they're trying to figure out how to do that. And you are really not thinking about that. You're not focused on them. You're not, you're not looking there. You're looking for this brighter day, this, this sunshine. You're looking for this um, newness here with the eight of cups in your mind space. You just, you're just not looking. It's, it's very interesting. You're not mad. You're not angry. You're not telling them to go to hell. You just, you just, I'm, I'm done. You just, I'm out. It's, it's very interesting. Very interesting. You have to leave me a comment. Let me know if this resonates with you at all. But yeah, you have a, an admirer here, a secret admirer, maybe not so secret to you. They do watch you. They watch your social media. They, they peep in on you so they can find the right words, see what would make you happy. And they're trying everything they can to, to make you feel the way you used to feel. So just keep that in mind because everybody's going through something at some point or another. But boy, it's just um, not time. It's not divine timing for you to turn around. You're not supposed to turn around right now. You're supposed to go forward into this grace and into this um, true, true authenticity of you. You can't change for anyone else um, or anyone wanting you to go back to somebody who you used to be. There's no going back. There's no going home here, Aquarius. And you know that. You're so smart. So wow, there's just really somebody here. <laughs> All right. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know if this resonates. It is a general reading. Obviously, it's not going to apply to all. So let me know. And um, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. 
And if you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. But how could I go without showing you on the bottom? Knight of Cups, more offers of love, more offers of love. This person's going all out. You might even get gifts and letters and um, all kinds of things. Absolutely letters with the Knight of Cups up here they're giving you. So and very interesting, but I, I just, it doesn't get you in the heart like it used to. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, you've moved on. You've moved on to something else. So, all right, Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastical week and I will definitely tune in soon.